Right. How would you attack the Jets if you were named? Uh, you kicked Shanahan to the curb and you got the head coaching gig, bud, for San Fran. Ooh, do you want me to do offense? You do defense, or vice versa? Yeah, that's cool. Well, either one. All right. So if I were attacking the Jets' offense right now, um, I'd probably. I mean, you got to test out the the tackles, right? Like Tyron and and Moses were both injured last year. Uh, you know, pretty frequently they they had little uh, you know you know rest days, things like that throughout training camp. Maybe just test them, see how they're doing at their you know elevated age. Our center, Joe Titman, has had a little bit of snapping problems. So if you have a defensive tackle that can kind of cause a little bit of havoc up front first, that might cause a little bit of chaos. Our offensive line has four new starters, four new day one starters than we had last year. The only returning starter is AVT at the uh, right guard spot. So we're still kind of up in the air as to what that's going to look like. Uh, as far as like... I. I I guess I would say, you know, load the box and force us to to beat you through the air right now because we don't really know what Mike Williams is. We haven't really seen him yet. We know Garrett's a stud. And then outside of that, it's like, okay, is Lazard going to be, you know, the, a better version of himself compared to last year? Last year, he was very underwhelming. Uh, and I, like, I know Brees is a stud. So if you can stop Brees, then you kind of maybe shade some coverage towards Garrett and just hope that Mike Williams and, and the other guys don't really get to feast. I do expect Tyler Conklin to have a little bit more um, use in this offense, but we haven't seen Aaron Rodgers really play with us at all. So it's kind of to be determined on, on really all fronts for the New York Jets. Yeah. So if I'm the... That about the offensive line, you guys have four new starters. Yeah, it's, I mean, mm -hmm. I just say, sometimes it takes some time for, for those offensive lines to gel when you got so many new mm -hmm. pieces there. So for our sake, hoping you guys aren't, clicking in week one <laughs> if i'm the san francisco offense and i'm attacking the jets defense um well to me it's well it's not it's never easy when you're facing either one of these defense it's not gonna be easy but um i think you have to like i already talked about kittle i think kittle can be the real x factor but outside of that i think um you got to utilize you you got to use the jets aggression and aggressive nature against them a lot of counters a lot of misdirection stuff a lot of getting them moving one way and going the other um the the running backs out of the backfield are going to be huge quick you know short passing like i i don't think i and i think this for real and if i was coordinating the, the niners offense i don't think you're going to see a lot of deep um mm -hmm. developing um routes full full stem not a lot of seven step drop back i think you're going to see a lot of quick action stuff Get the ball out of the hand of, of Brock Purdy. Get it in the hands of the playmakers and let them hopefully uh, make something happen. Um, the Jets have always been susceptible to screens. Um, I expect Kyle Shanahan to, to run a few of those. Uh, I, again, uh, I, I'm getting, I'm using the Jets' aggressive nature and aggressive, you know, vertical pressing nature against them, and and um, to my advantage, get the ball out in space. Get it in. The, get the ball out in your playmaker's hands and space and let them make something happen. What's up guys, Matt O'Leary from Talking Jets. If you liked that video, please make sure to subscribe and follow for more New York Jets content.